Target, checking out their Tuck Friendly Pride Collection. That's right, guys. Extra crotch coverage, Tuck Friendly construction. Wow, it's so Tuck Friendly. It's nice to be. Let's come in. I love the Tuck Friendly bathing suit. He's at it again. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com, get you one of these shirts, man. We got a bunch of Father's Day uh, stuff coming out, rolling out actually this Friday. So uh, you need to be, matter of fact, I, I, it may not be Friday. It may be today. I got I to gotta go check my numbers. Uh, I, I'm out here in NRB uh, in Orlando, Florida, and I, and I have no idea what's going on because it's too much stuff going on for me. But anyway, uh, go to the store, get you one of these shirts. If it's on pre-order, it's still on pre-order. If not, we re we're launching it today. Then it is what it is. Just go to the website, like and subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you get notification anytime I go live, make a video. Make sure you're still subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Let's get into this, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, your boy, uh, Primetime Stein is at it again, and I love to see uh, people like him expose the lunacy of the left. You know, they have in Target. And I think they've been backtracking ever since. And I think they even had a meeting to address some of these uh, issues with putting uh, the LGBTQ kid clothes at the front of the store and, and propagating a sexual immorality to these children. We're at Target right now and there's a lot of controversy going on about all of the pride stuff that's coming out with kids clothes and things like that. So we're going to go to the kids section and we're actually going to see if they're putting weird, creepy, uncomfy stuff on children's clothing. Okay, this is the child section. This is literally the kids section. I'm next to a literal onesie that says whatever the hell that means. We have glad you came out and I'm so happy that you're queer in the kids section. Are you kidding me? I'm sorry, but pride and toddler don't belong in the same sentence. So I found an extra small swimsuit in the child section. It says light binding effect on it. And then the bottoms in the kids section, keep in mind, say tuck friendly construction. They're giving it to your kids. If that doesn't give you a reason to boycott Target, I don't know what does, but this shit's getting out of hand. They're targeting children, whether you like it or not, and it's time that people actually do something about it. Because if they don't, then guess what? That shit won't just be in Target, it'll be in every store, ever. And so, I, I think that they've been played for a fool by allowing wokeness to dictate how they uh, approach their general customer. We've seen this happen uh, with uh, Bud Light, We've seen this happen with a lot of companies that go woke. And the reason that they go woke is because they have a social credit score. There is actually a system that grades companies on how woke they are and what woke agenda they're promoting in their company. So many of these companies probably really don't want to do it. But in order for them to have good standing in the wokeology, um, they have to do certain things. Some of them are woke and they, and they want to do this because they have no uh, integrity whatsoever. And they hate God and they hate country. Why are so many companies going woke? There had to be some reason. And after some digging, I found it. The CEI, Corporate Equality Index, aka the Woke Credit Score. It's a made up score based on how much a company is pushing woke issues. And who made up and gives this score? An organization called the HRC, a massive political lobbying group. Apparently, HRC sends representatives to corporations every year, telling them the kind of stuff they have to make visible at the company, give them a list of demands, and if they don't follow through, there's a threat that they won't keep their CEI credit score. And why do companies even care about this made up woke credit rating? If they get a bad score, then the woke investor funds start putting pressure on the boards. Woke activists are mobilized out in the streets advertising campaigns are shut down anyone that continues to do business with them will also be penalized this is fascism don't play their game don't get their investment and who is funding the hrc surprise surprise it's george soros's open society foundation now this hrc has introduced this arbitrary credit rating to everything states municipalities and even schools imagine that there are people who are deciding what credit score an individual school can get they threaten them by having these big funds withhold investments into them um however i want you to see this video of primetime stein literally mocking the people in uh target or the organization target itself by wearing his uh 
uh, tuck swimsuit. The tuck it under, tuck it under, over. I don't know how they do it, but he's tucking it in his swimsuit rotor clip. This is not, you guys see this? It's tuck friendly. You see? Have you tried it? Yeah, it's tuck friendly. Yeah, it's tuck friendly. We're at Target checking out their tuck friendly pride collection. That's right, guys. Extra crotch coverage. Tuck friendly construction. Thank you, Target. No, no it I is. Don't think this is a tucking one. Yeah, it is. Look. Tuck. Oh. Tuck friendly construction. Okay. Well, let's see how tuck friendly it is. Okay, well, you can. Wow, it's so tuck friendly. It's nice to be. Let's come in. I love the tuck friendly bathing suit. They hide all of it. Look, I got it. This is not, you guys see this? It's tuck friendly. You see? Extra Yeah, I saw it on TikTok too. Look at this shirt right here. It just looks so good. But you can't even see it, guys. It's like, this is the best tuck friendly construction I've ever seen. You see this? This is Target is so progressive. I love it. <laughs> Thank you, Target. I just feel like I can run. Yeah, I can exercise in this. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. You can train in this thing. I'm all tucked in. We're getting it. Can't wait to wear this around the pool. Now look at how cringe and uncomfortable those people are. I mean, you can just see it in the video. The girl is looking at his uh, genitalia uh, popping out of his swimsuit. And the funny thing is, is they're uncomfortable, but they will not say anything. And I think that's one of the biggest uh, problems in our society today is that people feel this way. They know it's not right. And subconsciously, they know it's not right. Um, I would say consciously and subconsciously, but still, they will not say nothing. Because they're afraid of getting counseled. They're afraid of being deemed uh, to be a person that is transphobic or homophobic or not inclusive, not progressive. To me, that is mind blowing. I do not understand how we put up with these things in our society today. But shout out to your boy, uh, Primetime Stein, for exposing these people for who they are. The ridiculousness of that video is the same level of ridiculousness that we see going on today. There's no reason that Tarjay should be even promoting any of this stuff. And I hope that they get the message. And we were talking about this earlier at the NRB conference. Ali Stuckey uh, and Dennis Prager was on the panel and we were uh, speaking about council culture. And the thing is, is that we don't counsel people. We just divest. There's a difference between counseling and divesting. We, we're not saying they should shut down a Target store. We just say that we should not go to Target. We, we're exposing the fact that this is what Target is participating in, and we need to divest from Target. Same thing happened at Disney. We, we're not saying, oh, we're going to counsel Disney. Counsel Disney. No, we, we're divesting from the entertainment. We're divesting from going to Disney World, Disneyland. We're divesting. We're not spending our money. We're taking our money and we're spending it in places that adhere to our ideas. Like, I don't think that we should shut down people that have these lunatic thoughts. I don't think we should shut down people that, that claim to be minor attractive persons. No, let them talk. Let the world see what they really think. Let their ideas get exposed and, and, and let them exploit their, themselves for who they really are and allow people like myself and others to then interpret what they're saying and prove that what they're doing is counterproductive for the production of children and let people make the decision. Do I follow this person or do I not? Do I support this company or do I not? Do I invest in this company or do I not? It's really that simple. And I'm not here to, to ban anybody. I don't care if a person was online in the white supremacists. Let the stupidity of this person's ideas be exposed and let other people have a, have, to have a healthy dialogue in exposing and expressing what the truth really is. So shout out to uh, Primetime Stein. I think he have a, a, have a, uh, a show on The Blaze. But anyway, go follow him. We'll put links in the description section. Go get you one of these shirts. I'm out of here.